Hello everybody, Coolie20 here with another video and today I will be talking about my 2018 driver predictions. Oh great, now where did they go? Where did they put them? Up oh, there they are. That's just there we go. Put them all nice over here. And let's get into it. So, these are all the drivers that um will be changing team that um have their drivers kind of having the contracts and at the end of the season. Ugh, had no idea how to put that one. <laughs> so basically these are all the teams that have a potential driver change at the end in between twenty seventeen and twenty eighteen. So basically, all the drivers have the contract ending. First off, the two car of Brad Kozlowski. Well, currently being driven by Brad Kozlowski. And will keep being driven by Brad Kozlowski. Brad has gotten his number two Miller Lite Ford Fusion to two wins already this season. Although, not in the Miller Lite scheme. Both have been. Both have been the Auto Trader schemes. Pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know my paint scheme, so Brad will stay in the two car due to much success in the twenty sixteen in the twenty seventeen season. Jesus Christ. Uh, not talk today. So Brad stays in the two. Casey Kane. That is a very big name in the silly season right now. Henrik can technically cut his contract at any time right now, from what I've heard. So leave that nice and straight. They can pretty much cut the contract at any time, end it, say, right now, he can end it. Here at, like, 9 o'clock Eastern. So they can end it at pretty much any time they want. Oh, something on the screen. But it's a very big team, so they will formally send off Casey Kane once his contract is over. I see him coming close to getting in the chase, but not going into the chase. Next up, we have the 10 car. Danica Patrick has not had a very fantastic season. Or should I say, seasons. Other than some occasional top 10 finishes, which are pretty much rarer than a blue moon. Um... She has n not had any success in the Cup Series, except for those top tens, obviously. If she would have stayed in the Xfinity Series for a year or two longer, this probably wouldn't have been the case. I see her being kicked out of that 10 car, possibly even leaving NASCAR, to make room for Cole Coster. Now on to the 13 car, currently being driven by Ty Dillon. He will not be driving that car next year. Instead, we will see RCR driver, well, part-time driver in the Xfinity series, Ben Kennedy, take over that car. You heard me right. Ben Kennedy will take over the 13 car. He is not a proven driver. He is an unproven driver. Hasn't had too much success in his part-time career in the Xfinity series. But... RCR doesn't really have any more drivers sitting in this sta in their stables other than Daniel Hemrick, which we will get to him in a second. So Ben Kennedy will get that ride. Next up we have the 20 car, as I have covered. That 20 car, currently being driven by Matt Kenseth, will be no more. At the end of the 2017 season, well, in between the seasons, the second the checker flag comes out at Homestead, well, probably not that soon. Jones isn't going to switch out in the middle of turn four at Homestead, but anywho, Matt Kenseth has been announced he will not be driving the 20 in 2018. Eric Jones will, which leaves the 77 open next year. We'll get to that in a little bit. The 21 car, currently being driven 
by Ryan Blaney will not be after this season. Instead, Bubba Wallace will take over the 21 after they have seen a, quite a bit out of him after or after him subbing in for Eric Almirola. Where will Ryan Blaney go? Excellent question, my invisible viewers. The 12 car. Roger Penske has been saying for the longest time that he wants Ryan Blaney to come to Penske sooner rather than later. Now into the 27. Paul Menard, another interesting name in the silly season. He does not have a, a ride in 2018 as of right now, July 1. 13th, 14th, 13th. As of, as of me recording on the 13th, news can come out in any second, pretty much, in the NASCAR world. But, Paul Menard will be, not be driving the 27. Instead, we will see Ty Dillon driving that car. Paul Menard will most likely go to an Xfinity team. Next up, we have the 37. Which is not a 37 car, I'm just going to be using the 7. I'll pretend there's a 3 right there next to the 7. Chris Buescher, Chris Buescher. He is on loan right now to JTG Doherty, Doherty, Doherty Racing from, um, what's, what's it called? Roush Fenway, which basically means Roush Fenway Racing and Front Row Motorsports. Chris Busher will leave the 37 car, and Daniel Hemrick will take over. Why Hemrick? He hasn't really proven much, but there's not many other options out there. Although Alex Bowman could have could be a great option, as he might be open. William Byron could be an option, but he'll probably stay in the Xfinity series. But Wallace probably isn't an option. There's a whole bunch of drivers. Kurt Busch, driver of the 41 machine in 2017. That won't change. I see him and Stuart Haas Racing staying together probably until Kurt's retirement. Although Kurt doesn't really have a full-time sponsor other than Haas. Well, kind of Monster Energy, but not too much. They aren't on, they're basically a secondary sponsor for pretty much every race, and their sponsorship is questionable next season due to Monster being the title sponsor. 42 of Kyle Larson. He'll stay. He will. He has proven himself. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. Ganass is going to hold on to him as long as they can. Now... The 43 car. Yeah, come on. Focus on the 43 car. No. Focus. There we go. The 43 car, currently being driven by Eric Almarola, won't change. He has a nice stable ride at Richard Penny Motorsports. He was pretty much on the bubble for getting in the chase until his accident in Kansas. Now he finds himself below 30th in points. What's his name? Um, Eric Jones, currently driving the 77 car. He's going to the 20 car, as we have mentioned. Driving this car, there's not many TRD cars or drivers that have proven themselves, really. Matt Tick still kind of recovering from the yeah, from his brain surgery or whatever to get the tumor out. Christopher Bell still sitting in the truck series in his second year. Either Matt Tift or Christopher Bell will go to that car. Probably the biggest piece of controversy in the silly season world is the eighty eight car. 
of Dale Earnhardt Jr. He obviously is leaving as he is announced after the 2017 season. Taking over for him, this may come as a surprise to some people, Matt Kenseth will take over. Believe it or not, just think about it. You have Matt Kenseth and Jimmy Johnson on a team with Chase Sally and possibly a new rookie in either William Byron or Alex Bowman or someone like that. Circle K would probably go to the 88 with Matt Kenseth. You know what? I'm going to change up my five prediction. Alex Bowman driving the five next year. Just think of it. Jimmy Johnson and Matt Kenseth grooming, um, well, kind of grooming, Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman. Two drivers that have their... Have a little bit of experience in the Cup Series. Both of them driving for two full-time seasons. 2014-2015 for Bowman. 2016-2017 for Elliott. Two, two of the sport's best drivers. Both champions. Mentoring. What's his name? Um, Alex Bowman and... Ugh. Alex Bowman, and what's his name? Chase Elliott. Oh, God. My mind just went completely blank. So, yeah, Matt Kenseth goes to the 88. And I'll just leave it back there so you can kind of see it. The drivers that were in the x Friendly series or without a ride that were looking in. Bubba Wallace to the 21. William Byron will spend another year in the x Friendly series. Alex Bowman... Might go to the 5, you never know. Daniel Hemrick, from the 21 to the th to the 13. When did I say he was going? No, to the 37. Ben Kendi from his part-time ride in the 2. To a full-time ride at RCR. Or, blech, Germain Racing. I cannot think straight right now. This is what happens when I'm awake at 9 o'clock without any caffeine. And... Who have I not covered yet? Oh yeah, Matt Tiff or Christopher Bell. Matt Tiff currently in the 19 in the x Fendi series. Christopher Bell in the 4 in the truck series. So that's pretty much all for my silly season. Fingers crossed this video isn't above 15 minutes or I'll see you... This is going to be a nightmare to upload. <laughs> this has been Cooley 20. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, night, whatever it is that you're watching. Because this might be uploaded at night. It might be uploaded tomorrow morning. Thank you for watching. This has been Cooley 20. Have a great day. Night. Thing.